What's going on everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video guys, as you can see, I'm on a little bit of a hike. Walking on some back roads here in Greece. This is actually the village where my grandparents grew up. They're from here in the 50s. They grew up here, immigrated to the United States, and I'm out of breath. <sighs> and it's great coming back here after four years of just not being here, honestly. I haven't been here in a long time. But anyway guys, I had to take a little seat because this is an uphill and it's hard vlogging while going up. The breathing is ridiculous. But anyway, in this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, what the market's been up to lately. What are my thoughts in regards to this market and what I've been doing? You guys saw my community post a couple of days ago. I think that was yesterday or the day before that I've been buying one particular stock. And I want to share this stock with you guys in this video, but in a couple of minutes but before we do get into that the markets have been absolutely bloody these past couple of trading days well today and yesterday they've been recovering but before that the markets have been getting killed the dow jones had one of the worst days in its history the nasdaq had a day where it was down 4.5 percent in one day that's ridiculous right the s p has just been getting killed and during these time periods guys during this past week I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram, a lot of questions on the Discord group chat DM, and people in general and the whole entire community, they've been panicking, right? They've been saying, oh my goodness, should I sell my stocks? Should I, you know, completely liquidate my account? There's just been a lot of stuff going on that I kind of just want to talk about. But before we do get into that, what's been going on in the markets? Well, we got more tariffs slapped from Trump onto $300 billion worth of Chinese goods, right? Right? That's what really sent the markets down. We had the 25 basis point rate cut, which if you guys have been following the channel, you've been following with financial news, you knew that this was going to happen, right? And this scenario that played out is called buy the rumor, sell the news. If you guys were paying attention, the whole time that we were expecting the rate cut, we weren't 100% sure that the rate cut was going to come, but we kind of knew, right? Powell was hinting towards it. Trump really wanted it, right? And the markets were buying up the rumor, right? We were buying up the rumor. The S&P hit an all-time high. And then once that rate cut, uh, cut actually happened, the markets dumped, right? The markets dumped that day. And then the next day, Trump slapped those tariffs, which sent the markets into mayhem, right? And then the Chinese currency manipulation happened and the markets really were reacting negatively to that. And now again, like I said, these past two days, the markets have been slowly recovering, but people have still been panicking, guys. Should I liquidate my account? Should I sell all my assets? Should I not buy stocks now? Well, in my opinion, guys, every time, not maybe not every time, right? But whenever the market corrects, it's worth looking into stocks. It's worth looking to buy into dips. Doesn't mean you always have to, but it's worth looking into potentially buying into the opportunity that was opened up from the massive drop, right? And me personally, again, I've been buying one stock that it kind of dipped before the whole market dropped. And I personally see this stock as a very good wealth builder over time. And why not? I'm going to give you guys a stock right now. That stock is Johnson and Johnson, guys. Johnson Johnson & Johnson, I really like it, right? I really like the dividend yield right now. It's at about a 3%, 3.1% dividend yield. The payout ratio is a 40 to 45% right now. And for those of you guys that don't know what a payout ratio is, it's pretty much the percentage of a company's earnings that are being paid out in dividends. So to put it in a very brief and simple example, let's say a company reports $1 of earnings and they pay out a 50 cent dividend that quarter. Well, that payout ratio is going to be 50%, right? And Johnson & Johnson, again, has around a 40 to 45% last time I checked, which is very, very healthy, right? And my reasoning behind adding more and loading up on this position is because of the security of 
the company, the security it, pr- it provides through recessionary periods. And am I saying the recession is going to happen tomorrow, the next day? Of course not, right? Nobody knows, but it's never bad to prepare and to put your money in places where you feel more comfortable than in some of these growth stocks, or at least in my opinion, I feel more comfortable putting money in Johnson & Johnson at this point in the cycle than in some of these growth stocks. And getting back to that payout ratio, so let's say Johnson & Johnson, a lot of the companies out there, including Johnson & Johnson, they're going to suffer a bit during the recession, right? And let's say their earnings drop. The payout ratio provides a lot of safety because it's really low. So let's say the earnings were to shrink, right? For that example we just used, a dollar earnings, 50 cent um, you know, dividends, that's a 50% payout ratio. Let's say the earnings shrunk to 80 cents, right? There's no way Johnson & Johnson would cut the dividend because there's still that buffer. You guys understand what I'm saying, right? So if they had an 80%, you know, uh, earnings, 50% dividend is still, or 50 cent dividend is still going to be very, very doable for the company, right? On the flip side, let's say you're investing in a company that maybe has a 95% payout ratio and then the recession comes, they get killed in terms of their earnings. Well, they might be cutting their dividend because they may come to a point where their dividend is going to be higher than their earnings, right? And that puts companies in a very, very, very shaky situation. So now that I kind of shared, you know, what I've been buying, Johnson & Johnson, right? This is a time period where, especially if the markets continue to drop, don't panic. Don't just sell out of your positions. Realize that this is where the real wealth is built, right? This is where the money is made. Not buying at the top. Not buying at the top. If you want to maximize your returns in the stock market, you know, you have to buy when stocks are red, right? Be greedy when others are fearful. I know you guys know that quote, right? So when the markets are dropping, look at companies and be be like okay these are opportunities to buy great companies on sale. And if you're looking at dividend companies, let's say you want to live off of your dividends one day. Well, when the markets are going down, guess what's happening to dividend companies? Let's say a dividend stock goes from $130 to $110. That dividend will go from, let's say, a 3% to a 4%, for example, right? So if you're buying shares at $110, $100, whatever it may be at a lower price, your yield is going to be higher. Your starting yield is going to be higher. Your cash flow is going to be more. And you could take this cash flow and really just buy more stocks, compound your wealth, and just really, it's, it's a snowball, right? You, you get the dividends, you buy more shares, right? And over time, in 10, 20 years, when all of this blows over, right? When the recession happens, when everything blows over, the market goes in a bull run again, you're going to be thanking yourself, guys, trust me, you're going to be thanking yourself that you bought when others were fearful, right? When the markets back in December, I know you guys remember December 2018, when the markets dipped 20, 25%, everybody was panicking. I was buying stocks. I was buying a crap ton of stocks. And guess what happened over the next coming months, eight, 10 months, or not eight, 10 months, like six, seven, eight months, I came out on top. The returns were in the 20, 30, 40% for some of the stocks that I was buying. So, Guys, you know, that's kind of the basis of this video, right? Don't panic. View this as an opportunity to load up on great companies. You know, if the markets drop again, although the markets have been recovering, let's say they start to dump again next week. Don't panic, right? If you're truly in this for the 5, 10, 15, 20, let's say you never want to sell, you know, this is the perfect time to buy. Not when stocks are at all-time highs, but when stocks are are dipping. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. I might relay some, you know, clips of this whole beautiful area that I'm in right now across this video. So if you did enjoy those, hit that like button, consider subscribing. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you all in the next video. I'll be back in the States in about a week. So I'll be back to the regular content. I can't wait for that. I love you guys. Peace out.